Let's talk about how to build a road train with the new Wilson Paysetter Super B. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we're talking about the Wilson Paysetter Super B trailers. We got tandem trailers, but there's two trailers here. May only look like one, but like a, a double, nah, -uh. two different trailers. I'm going to show you guys how to make a road train out of these. First things first, you're going to want to pick up a few of these. When you buy them, you buy them together and they come pre-attached. You can change your rim color, main color, design color, whatever you want. Just find some that match, that work for you. Find the colors that you guys like. Next, you're going to see this right here. And they plop down. They're going to plop down like normal trailers will. What we are going to do is we are going to separate the front and the back and only use the front sections. So I'm gonna take my truck that we've got right here and I'm going to pull up to this first one right here and we are going to attach in and I'm going to detach it from the rear trailer. Now, here's what happens when you detach from the rear trailer. You get this right here. Yeah, that's a dolly that is pre-attached to the trailer. How cool is that? That's cooler than anything, any mod that we have right now. That is that is one of the coolest. And it leaves you with this itty bitty little baby trailer, little baby Wilson Paysetter, 30,000 liter. So you can use that for whatever you want. Or you can do like I'm gonna do, and you can sell it. Because in your sell menu, you've got the Paysetter 36 inch, which is the rear section. Then you have the Paysetter Super B. This is the piece that we want right here. So we're gonna sell the Paysetter 36 inch. So Paysetter 36 inch, gone. And third one, boom. So now we're just left with the Super Bs. Check that out. These are the pieces that we want. Now, you could always save one piece if you really want, or if you want to way overdo it, you could come in here and get one of these and hook it up to the back. You can hook anything up to the back. As a matter of fact, we're gonna buy one more of these. And this is going to be what we build our train off of, right here. Now, one thing, you've gotta be right on it for it to work. But you can do this, so simply just keep backing in. Again, remember, sell that 36, uh, let's say 36 inch, 36 foot version, pull up here, and just keep grabbing these section. Make sure that you have the section with that rear fifth wheel attached to it. And just keep backing it in and attach them like you would a dolly or anything. Boom, just like that. So now we have a five trailer legitimate road train. that looks like it goes together. Now, unfortunately, because we have so many of these, we have to tap through each one of them to open them up to do all kinds of stuff like that. They work exactly like you would think they do. They are gravity wagons, gravity bins after all, so they're gonna empty out the bottom so you don't have to worry about rear tipping, side tipping, anything like that. Everything is gonna come out the bottom of these, so just drive right over the grating, load, unload, do what you need to do. Now, that doesn't just stop here. You don't have to just hook itself up to itself. You can use this in other ways, like feeding your animals, for example, or moving different crops from point A to point B. You can use this to your advantage. Here we have an instant of using the Super B with the Garant Cody on the back. So of course you guys know we could do liquid slurry and we could do digestate with that as well. And of course we could put all kinds of crops in here. So imagine taking, let's see, oh, I don't know, uh, some kind of uh, food for your pigs. So let's let's say you got corn and you also want to get, let's say, your slurry out of them. So in one trip, you can feed them the corn and go and pick up the slurry from them. It's just an example. I mean, I don't know how often you would do this, but you can do it. There's another option right here. Let's say you've got a sale and you've got a little bit bigger cell than you want. Well, maybe you've got 28,000 extra liters. 
toss on one of these. You could do the whole cell at once with the, with the cramping back here. Also, let's say for example, you've got wheat and you have uh, silage. We could put your wheat up here, sell your wheat, and put your silage back here, sell your silage. Totally doable, you could do it all in one trip. Again, over here, let's say that you have, uh, let's say we've got sheep. No, bad idea. Let's say, <laughs> let's go with pigs again. They're much easier. Let's say you've got pigs, or better yet, horses. Up here, you've got your oats. Back there, you've got your water. And you can go give them oats and water at the same time. Of course, you can't give them hay or straw with this, but you could still do your oats and your water at the same time. So again, you're saving yourself time and effort. And again, over here, I don't know why you would do this, but let's say you've got some animals in the back. Fill this up with chickens. I don't know. You can't put chickens back there. But use your imagination. The only thing holding you back is your imagination and you telling yourself, no, that won't work without even trying it. Give it a try. Hey, it might be stupid, but might work you never know so there's just a couple different options and a couple ideas for you guys to toss out and use for your own and of course the og right here <laughs> my goodness my goodness i love it well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you're not here, please subscribe if you got any questions drop those down in the comment section below there's so many different things that you can do with this and i want you guys to let me know What's a crazy thing that you've done? Or how many of these Wilsons have you put together? You made just the craziest road train in the entire world. Or maybe you're like, yo, I'm using two of the Wilsons with so-and-so implement on the back. And it's working awesome. You got to check it out. Shoot me some pictures on Facebook or on Twitter. Either way, I would love to see. But that being said, hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.